हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एटॉमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन एटॉमिक एंड मॉलिकुलर स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी वी डिस्कस अबाउट सम हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड ऑफ दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एटॉमिक मॉडल्स वी नो दैट जे जे थॉम्सन डिस्कवर इलेक्ट्रॉन फर्स्ट एंड देन ही सजेस्ट फर्स्ट एटॉमिक मॉडल दैट इज द जे जे थॉम्सन मॉडल ऑफ एटम इन नाइनटीन जीरो सेवन जे जे थॉम्सन मॉडल इज ऑल्सो नोन एज प्लम पुडिंग मॉडल बिकॉज इट जस्ट लाइक ए फ्रूट इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ निगेटिवली चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड पॉजिटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल इक्वल नंबर ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड निगेटिवली चार्ज पार्टिकल सो एटम इज इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल एंड धिस मॉडल इज नोन एज जे जे थॉम्सन मॉडल बट जे जे थॉम्सन मॉडल सफर्स सो मेनी ड्रॉबैक्स सो धिस मॉडल इज डिस्कार्डेड एट द टाइम सेकेंड मॉडल दैट वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रुदरफोर्ड मॉडल ऑफ एन एटम दिस मॉडल इज गिवन बाय रुदरफोर्ड इन नाइनटीन इलेवन इन दिस मॉडल अकॉर्डिंग टू रुदरफोर्ड एटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिवली चार्ज न्यूक्लियस मीन्स एटम कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए सेंट्रल कोअर एंड दिस सेंट्रल कोअर इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल मास ऑफ द एटम एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल पॉजिटिव चार्जेस ऑफ द एटम आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड हियर एंड दिस इज नोन एज न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस कंसिस्ट ऑफ ए number of protons and this number of proton is also known as atomic number it is denoted by z electrons are revolving in a uh, circular orbit around the nucleus electrons are circulating around the nucleus and this is rutherford atomic model but rutherford atomic model has uh, some drawbacks according to rutherford model Electron revolving around the nucleus in a stable circular orbit, so electron is a charged particle, and it is uh, it perform uniform circular motion, so it is accelerating charged particle. Electron is accelerating charged particle, so this accelerating charged particle emit the energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation continuously. So there are two drawbacks of this uh, model. If electron continuously emit the energy then its energy goes on decreasing and it follow the spiral path and finally fall into the nucleus so atom is not stable so uh, rutherford model has to explain the stability of the atom again second one is uh, nothing but while electron revolving around the nucleus it continuously emit the energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation so energy of electron emitting continuously so spectra of the atom is a continuous spectra but actually it is found that there is a line spectra rutherford model of an atom clear from the scattering of alpha particle and these are the drawbacks of rutherford model so these drug backs are overcome or this model is extended by neil bohr and this model is known as bohr's model of hydrogen atom it is very simplest model of hydrogen atom because it consists of only one proton because atomic number of hydrogen is one so it consists of only one proton so only one electron revolving around the nucleus in a stable circular orbit bohr's theory of hydrogen atom based on the three postulate we know that according to this postulate first postulate is that first postulate is uh, nothing but electron revolving around the nucleus in a stable circular orbit because centripetal force provided by electrostatic force centripetal force provided by electrostatic force 
और इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स बिहेव एज ए सेंट्री पेटल फोर्स सेकेंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन नॉट रिवॉल्विंग इन एनी सर्क्यूलर ऑर्बिट बट इन दो ओनली विच एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज इक्वल टू एन एच अपॉन ट्वाइस पार एंगुलर मोमेंटम इज नथिंग बट इट इज एम वी आर इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्विंग इन दो ऑर्बिट ओनली विच एंगुलर मोमेंटम एम वी आर इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल मल्टीपल ऑफ एच अपॉन ट्वाइस पार हियर एन इज इंटीजर नंबर सो होल मल्टीपल ऑफ एच अपॉन ट्वाइस पार इज द एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ दैट ऑर्बिट एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन रिवॉल्विंग इन सच ऑर्बिट ओनली थर्ड पॉर्चुनिटीज When electron jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit, it emits the energy in the form of photon. That is, E n energy of n th orbit minus E p. E n minus E p is the energy difference, and this energy difference is emitted in the form of photon, having energy h nu, where h is Planck's constant, and nu is the frequency of that radiation, emitted radiation. so this is bohr's model of atom again we have to discuss about the sommerfeld model sommerfeld extended the bohr's model in uh, sommerfeld go, uh, given this model in 1916 this is extended version of the bohr's model it is found that bohr's model and sommerfeld model has some drawbacks here we discuss about the drawbacks of bohr's model and sommerfeld model bohr's model could not explain the fine structure of spectral line even in simplest hydrogen atom also fine structure of spectral line bohr's model la fine structure of spectral line explain nahi karta la second bohr's model uh could not calculate the energy and frequency of radiation emitted by the complex atoms bohr's model could not calculate the frequency and energy of the complex atoms again sommerfeld modification in the bohr's model gives the theoretical explanation of the fine structure lines but fine spectral lines but it could not predict the number of fine lines theoretically explain the fine structure of the spectral line but it could not predict the actual number of fine lines again bohr's and sommerfeld model could not explain the distribution and arrangement of the electron in atom Bohr's and Sommerfeld model could not explain the intensity distribution of the spectral lines. Bohr's and Sommerfeld model could not explain anomalous Zeeman effect and Stark effect. These are the drawbacks of Bohr's and Sommerfeld model. To overcome this drawback, here we have to discuss about the next atomic model that is the vector atom model two scientist an helen back and goldsmith suggest the new atom and this new atom overcome the drawbacks of uh, bohr's and sommerfeld model and this model is called as vector atom model so we discuss about the vector atom model